Hi there, it's Ben Housel here, and here we're going to have a look at how we export out multiple ranges from a Final Cut Pro 10 timeline. Now, as well as being able to export out multiple ranges from your timeline, this is also useful if you want to cut down an already edited video. So, for instance, if you're taking a longer video, such as I've got here, that's two minutes, and you need to cut it down to one minute for a shorter format, such as Instagram, or you need to change the format to a square format, then this method will enable you to do that as well. So we'll have a look at a few different things here so that we can export out multiple ranges from our timeline. And then we'll also look at how we modify the format of the video so that it would be in a square format for some of the social media platforms. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is duplicate our sequence. Now, we can select a single range. So if you come to your tools here and come to the range selection tool, you can select a single range from your timeline and export out that one section of the video. And you can do that by using the range tool or by using I to mark an in point and then O to mark an out point as you're exporting out your video. What we can't do here is export out multiple ranges. So as soon as we select a new range on our timeline, we lose the original selection. So we're gonna to come up to our projects here on the top left. And if you don't see this, just click on the projects button here to show your libraries and you'll be able to navigate within your libraries to the individual projects. So we're gonna to come to this project and essentially what we're gonna do is right click on this or control and click and duplicate the project. And we'll call this 1920 by 1080 trimmed. And once we create that new project, we can double click on it to open it up in the timeline. And I'm gonna use the, the shortcut Shift and Z to zoom to the entire timeline. Now once I've done that, what I can do here is select my entire sequence. So I'm gonna use Command and A or Edit and Select All to select everything. And then from there, we can go to File and New. And what we're creating here is a compound clip. So this is wrapping our entire sequence up in a brand new clip. So we can click Compound Clip and we'll just leave the default name that it has up here. And we'll drop it into this AOS 550D event and click OK. So now when we're wanting to select multiple ranges from this edit, we're basically selecting the reverse and deleting them. So we can go to our Range Selection tool here in our toolbar and we can drag across sections of that video that we want to delete, leaving the areas that we want to keep um, in the export that we're making. So I'm just doing a very rough trimming here, but you can see we can now make those multiple selections and remove them in the timeline. Now, obviously we can edit this just like any individual clip as a compound clip, which is really handy if you want to trim down a clip from two minutes to one minute, you can select the specific areas of that timeline that you want. Now, one thing that I would normally do here before I made the compound clip, and I'll just go back a few steps here, is we would want the voice in the, the new compound clip, but we wouldn't necessarily want the audio track because we don't want to cut down the audio track as we're trimming things down. So I'm going to select all, Command and A, and I'm just going to hold down the Command key on the keyboard to remove that audio track that's running throughout the, the sequence. And that means now when we go to File, New, and Compound Clip, we can trim down our clip. And we still have that original audio track, which is going to make it much easier to edit a new voice track as we trim down this particular clip. So the next step is, once you've got that, um, is to obviously use the range selection tool to trim things down. So you can see now we've just got that voice track in there, so it's nice and easy to trim down around the, the voice track. And we're doing this roughly here just based on the waveform, but obviously you'd wanna play it through and make sure you're trimming down the important bits. And then once we've done that, we can modify our audio track to match the new shorter edited sequence. So if we are editing something down, I'm just gonna trim down this audio track here. Once we've trimmed it down, if we wanna change that to a square format, then the nice thing about the compound clip is that it will resize your clip to a letterbox format, which is great for putting text above and below. So if we come up here to our, our 1920 by 1080 trimmed project, if we click on that here, in the project browser, we can come across and hit modify, and we can change this here to a custom ratio of 1080 by 1080. We'll keep the same frame rate, and that will then give you that square format. So you can see now 
we have a square format for that video and it's very easy to drop text above and below that video for our new edit for social media for instagram for any other platforms you're wanting to broadcast your video on which don't have the standard 1920 by 1080 format to them now one thing that's worth mentioning here is that you want to do this at the end and you may go back and forth a little bit as you're editing but it will make it a lot easier if you've done your main edit first rather than having to go back into your main edit a lot to create this from so there's a few tips and tricks on how to export out multiple selections from an edited timeline so you can see our original edited timeline would have been really tricky to to do this cutting down in but with that compound clip in a new sequence we can really trim that down and because it's a copy of our original sequence we're not worried about messing it up we can always go back and we've got that original edit ready to go the next step is obviously to hit the share button up at the top right and export out to the format that you want to so to export out the format that you want to export out and i'm only exporting out as an mpeg4 format in the higher quality um, which is great for instagram for facebook and will give you a nice high quality video in those formats if you have any questions about final cut pro 10 then please leave a message below you'll also find one of my classes on skillshare and i've left a link below to that so please check that out there's a lot of other great courses from other teachers on skillshare as well and i look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial